A military offensive could be just days away, but for now the streets of Fallujah are deserted. But help may soon be on its way from the U.S. government, who've promised to speed up deliveries of military equipment. We're accelerating our foreign military sales, deliveries, and are looking to provide an additional shipment of Hellfire missiles as early as this spring. And on the edge of Ramadi, another city controlled in part by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, the Iraqi army are edging closer with soldiers and equipment, backed up by Sunni tribes loyal to their cause. The tight measures that we take today are because of the situation in Amba. To avoid security deterioration or violence in Baghdad, God willing, we are here at the service of the people and we vow to protect the homeland. But a coalition of al-Qaeda-linked fighters says anyone who tries to help the Iraqi government and its allies will be punished. The revolutionaries of our tribes in Fallujah have resolved to punish the tribesmen who support the sectarian government forces and who decide to join the military council. The revolutionaries are also determined to shoulder the responsibility of foiling the filthy scheme run by the government. That's led to a mass exodus of residents fleeing some of the most bitter fighting since the US withdrawal. Attempts to get aid to those still in Fallujah are being hampered by an increasingly dangerous situation. The supplies are expected to be shipped into Fallujah this afternoon. We are negotiating with security forces and tribal forces over the safety issues. We have loaded the supplies and got them ready for shipment in one to two days. It's difficult for us to approach the city. Iraq's Prime Minister has urged residents in Anbar province to help drive out the al-Qaeda-linked fighters. But if that doesn't happen, all-out military action could be the next step. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.